Hey guys, welcome back to Vir's Garage. Today is the next day. Uh, today what we're gonna be doing is I bought some Bosch uh, front wipers for it. So we're gonna be installing front wipers. Um, I don't know why I'm saying front, it doesn't have a rear wiper. But uh, anyways, I wanted to buy new wipers because they're in a bad shape. So we're gonna be installing those and doing a couple more things to this car. Probably taking it for another test drive again today. Bosch, very high quality. Uh, and then these ones, you can see they were like bent and they're really old and they're not installed properly. So this is just flopping loosely around in here. Pretty unsafe. Yeah. Finally installing these. too long seems like huh. let's see yeah I'm gonna go grab a different size they're a little too long So the brakes are not looking the best. The brake pads are still there. However, the rotors are in pretty bad shape. But I'm pretty sure if you drive it a little bit, they can, they will come back to life, hopefully. Um, and then as far as the suspension, as you can see, the car's been sitting for a long time. So this is what it has, obviously. A lot of stuff, but... Uh, and these are actually original, original BMW struts, never been changed. 250,000 miles, pretty crazy. Uh, it will need a suspension and steering work, as you can see. Like a, the sway bar links, the boots are broken, mm, so they will need to be changed. Um, and then these steering components, this boot is also broken on the other side. So it will, it will need to be replaced. Yeah, just uh, quite a bit of work, but I mean, it's it's still safe to drive and everything. Uh, the wheel has just a little bit of play, not too much on this side. So that's fine. Um, brake hose, yeah, probably a good idea to change it. Probably never been done as well. Yeah, it definitely needs to be changed because it's pretty soft right there. So you definitely brake hoses need to be replaced. All right, guys, so these are the wheels. They're actually staggered. They have different tire sizes. So I'll put smaller tire size in the front and the tires, as you can see, in pretty good shape. So hopefully they fit. We really hope that they fit. I already checked the suspension brakes on that side, but uh, let's go ahead and install this onto the car and see what happens. Unfortunately, these tires don't fit because they need spacers because it's hitting the tie rod so that really sucks i'm pretty sure they would fit the back but not the front so i don't know what we're gonna do uh, we have to brainstorm right now so what we decided to do is these tires that were in the back they're actually in a, a lot better shape than we thought they were so we're gonna put them in the front and then those ones are gonna go on the back right now and guys this is just a temporary repair uh what we can say because the owner will buy new tires for some classic bmw wheels uh soon but as of right now just so he can like drive it around and enjoy this car we will do this combination and the suspension right here is all leaking so the struts are leaking and brakes are still fine uh, a lot of other things these two joints need to be replaced they're cracked uh accumulator right there is probably bad as well a lot of stuff uh, axle boots are still holding up um, but they're probably gonna need to be replaced as well at some point but they're still good the boots are still good for the for the axles on the axles but so well i'm gonna go ahead and start installing these 
wheels. All right, guys, right now I'll be doing my favorite preservation. I will be uh, using wheel bearing grease and automatic trans fluid. I'll be lubricating everything, all these joints, hood hinges, door hinges, door locks, uh, all that good stuff. And I'll be also uh, lubricating these door stops and these door hinges. It's really important. So that's what I will be doing. Um, other than that, I'm also working. I have the uh, left side rear seat out because we have a parasitic jaw as well on this car. And what happens is that when you turn the key off, the window switches stay on and the illumination on them stays on, which sucks. So I printed out the wiring schematic and, um, you know, there's a general module right there that also uh, controls them. So I think that I'm going to start unplugging a couple things one by one. And eventually I'll, fi I'll figure it out. But other than that, everything is amazing. Uh, we, like I saw, you guys uh, saw these wheels that I installed. There's just going to be temporary wheels for right now. And then later on, the owner will actually install some nice tires and something like that. He has another set of those wheels they're chrome so he's going to be installing it on this car most likely uh, and yeah it's just a lot of work guys that i've been doing to this car bought some automatic transfer fluid but i will be changing it probably in the future not in the near future but later on right now i'm just going to check the trans fluid level and i also installed the wipers the wipers are uh, literally brand new bosch wipers and they're actually 22 inch in length both of them and i had to go back to the store because they gave me uh different length uh wipers and they were one of them was literally too long so i had to go back to the store exchange it All right, my friends, just wanted to update you all. Uh, I just finished the preservation uh, on this car, most of it actually. Uh, so what I did is I lubricated all the hood hinges and parts and everything that moves in grease and automatic trans fluid. I uh, also greased up these uh, parts right here where the hood sits. Uh, did a bunch of work. Uh, mainly what I did as well is I did I coated all these inner door seals with silicone paste to prevent cracking and aging, and it's amazing. Uh, they're gonna stay preserved forever. They will never crack. I did it to all four doors and everything, so that's awesome. Another thing what I did is um, lubricated these door stops and lubricated the uh, door hinges. That's also a really important thing to do uh so much work guys has been done and yeah i'm just finishing up with some uh the interior cleanup but mainly is i'm focusing my attention right now to uh parasitic jaw uh so hopefully i'll figure it out but i will mm, and uh yeah i'm super excited to get this car back in the road the final thing will be to 
uh, wash this car because it hasn't been washed in a long time. It has moss in many places right here. Um, so definitely, definitely needs a wash and uh, some more love, but she's almost uh, back on her legs. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done as far as suspension and um you know just slowly but surely she'll be getting back to life it's just so sad because a lot of people in this world give up on such amazing cars i never do i never give up on anything whatever car i have or work on there's a problem i always fix it I always get to the end of the problem and solve it unfortunately a lot of people are not like that very sadly there was a guy on youtube uh he's not a youtuber he just posts some like random videos and stuff but he has, he used to have one of these cars. It was a black 750 IL. Super nice, super amazing shape, condition. And one day it just didn't start for him. It had no, like a crank, no start. And the guy just ended up scrapping the car. I'm like, you are a freaking idiot. You're a freaking moron. Like, seriously, like a lot of people piss me off because of like how how much of idiots they are just like you know it's crazy but it is what it is but i'm so happy guys about this car it's coming back to life it's smiling i see the smile on this car um and it's talking to me you know amazing machine they never uh, they don't make them like they used to 250,000 miles such an amazing machine i have no words um like i told you guys i love classic uh mercedes and bmws mercedes will be not my number one but I love and cherish classic BMWs as well. I love newer BMWs too and newer Mercedes, but not as much as I love classic ones. Uh, they are irreplaceable. They're amazing machines. Don't give up your, on your amazing cars. Always give them all the love. Uh, even if you have old school Volvos or Volkswagens, I actually really like those too. They're so sweet. So never give up on your amazing cars, guys. Yeah, that's what I've been telling all of you for so many years. If you need, if you have a question, need help, just message me. I'll help you get the your car rolling. So this car is back to life. There's no more limp mode on this car. However, I think in the future, the best thing would be to clean the throttle bodies, take them apart and reinstall. So we have brand new wiper blades and I also adjusted the squirters and cleaned them because they were dirty and they were uh, misaligned. So right now, here's how everything works. Amazing. Ooh. Okay, now I also did uh, adjust your washers and clean them so right now they're spraying uh -huh. like that nice, nice as you can see all right well, let's go let's drive this bad boy <laughs>
Yeah, so it has a shake because oh. of the because of the tires. Seems like because those tires probably in the back they're not balanced, so it has a shake around uh, 50 miles an hour. Yeah. It's all because of the tires. Yeah. Yeah. So either way, Mitchell, you will have to put those the the better tires on that car. Yeah. Um, on this car or newer ones. Newer you know ones, what I mean? Yeah. Because you see what it's doing. Yeah. 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 Bad tires actually. That feels like from the rear. Or? Could be front or rear. Oh, hard yeah. to say, but it goes away at around 60. So yeah. it could be a tire balance issue, or we're we have mismatched tires as well. You know, their right. fronts are 17 inch and rears are, you know, amazing. What an amazing car! <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Back to life. Yeah, feels good. Cool. But yeah, definitely gonna have to do those tires. Why is he stopped? Nice pickup. Oh wow, he did, did you see that? Uh, okay. His wheel was broken. I didn't notice it at first. That's crazy. Nice. Wow. Yeah, amazing. Well, like I said, there's a lot more things to do. See, it, it does this about 50 miles an hour, but lower, like 40, it's good. And then above 50 miles an hour, it's good too. So it just, yeah. it's gonna be the tire problem. So I would literally, I would either get really good used tires for those classic wheels, or I would get uh, even new ones, you know? And then as soon as you have all the same tires on it and in good shape, it's gonna be great.